Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. I bet you want to know if you're being thought about by him right now, right? Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, I think everybody wants to know that. When he's thinking about you, that probably means he's interested in you. That's what it means. And not to mention, it's just plain flattering and cool. You want those little signs that he's into you and that he desires you. And maybe he worships you a little bit. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about signs that he thinks about you a lot. And of course, if you like what you see here today, why don't you just subscribe? Go ahead, it's cool stuff. You know, guys are never going to tell you directly that they're digging you. That would actually be disappointing to you if he did do that, by the way, at least if he said it more than once or twice. I mean, think back. Think back to all those guys that made it a point to tell you that they were actually thinking about you. That probably made your stomach cramp a little bit because it feels weird. They were probably needy. They wanted to be liked by you too much. You know, these are the friend zone guys. So you're looking for those signals that hint that he's feeling the same way that you do. That's really what you're looking for. Reading a guy's signals might seem like a full-time gig when it comes to dating, but that goes both ways. It goes for men and women because our experiences are so different. We want an interpreter, right? We want to know that we've actually got a chance before we open ourselves up and be more vulnerable. So let's get into some of the signs that he's thinking about you a lot. Number one is double texting. Keep in mind that most men don't prioritize their phones the way women do. We don't think our phones are really all that important. I mean, women use phones to connect. Men use their phones to get things done. That should be a critical difference that you understand. So if he's responsive and he's into your texting, which by the way, won't necessarily last all that long. If he's responsive right now, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign that he's got you on his mind. You'll send something and then he sends a text and then you know, after a small gap, he sends another text right after that. If he sends two in a row, boom, you're in. Just remember that guys don't like getting into long-winded texting sessions, so don't push your luck. If you want texting tips, make sure you also get on my mailing list. Go to the site, get on my free newsletter. Just go to datingfire.com and get on it. Just remember, great advice is priceless when it comes to dating and relationships. Sign number two is he's curious. Questions are the key. If he's asking you about things like your family, your friends, your job, your school, if you're going to school, anything that details or goes into detail about your life and wanting to know more about it, that's really huge. The best thing you can do, by the way, is to reciprocate and ask him about his life. Now, you can find out some of these power questions about how to ask guys this in my newsletter and in the programs. The next sign, number three, is that he initiates. Just like when he double texts you, if he calls you or maybe he texts you out of the blue, it's the most obvious sign there is, right? This is also a positive sign from a guy because he's fulfilling his masculine role. Now, what do I mean by that? Men are the ones who should be initiating. I know there's gonna, I'm gonna get some hate comments and some, some crazy cancel stuff, but you know what, it's true. Men are the ones who initiate when it comes to the relationships. They start things off because that's our traditional role and that's what women respond to. You know this, because deep down inside, when you have to do that work, you hate it. And how would you know if he was ever really into you unless he did take action first? It's up to you to receive at first. If you start chasing him, it will never work out. Go ahead, look back on your history and tell me how many of those relationships actually worked out. This is the most common coaching problem that I get from the women that I coach is that they started chasing the man and now things are going, they're spiraling the drain, frankly. Sign number four, he's good stalking as opposed to bad stalking. First, most guys aren't really all that into social media. Let me tell you this up front. It's not a priority for most guys. Good stalking, so the kind that I call good anyways, is when he's visible on your Facebook page or in you know, your Instagram or whatever he's on, whether he's Twittering, whatever it is. He's visible there in healthy ways. He's not lurking or not only lurking. If he's interacting and he's in on the conversation, that's good. On the other hand, if he talks about what he sees on your social media, like stories on Instagram, he talks to you about them and says what he sees, but you never see him commenting or liking, that could be a little bit odd. But you know what? It could also be good. He's just curious after all. If he's a normal guy, not too weird, well then he's probably fine. He's just trying to find more out about you. 
sign for B, you know, I had to add a B one on here, is that he's following you. And I'm not talking about he's driving around behind you in his car. This is another kind of good stalking that you noticed that he's into your posts. Maybe he retweets them or he, he just replies to them. Or maybe he's in a thread on your Facebook page. Whatever it is, he's participating. But again, remember that thing about guys and social media. Just because you're into it doesn't mean he's going to. Instead of relying so heavily on digital evidence, your focus, what you should be focusing on, should be the real world interaction. IRL, as they say, in real life. Be careful about trying to force him to fit into your idea about how he should be showing interest in you, okay? This is super important. You probably have an idea of how you want him to show interest, but he might be doing it a different way. And I'm gonna come back to this in a bit. Next sign is, He's not on his phone. He's focused on you. Imagine that. Yeah, you're on a date and you're hanging out with him or you're just doing something with him and he's not sitting there scrolling endlessly on his phone or constantly checking it. Now, I'm sure you've seen that, right? You've seen people on their phones in restaurants where the couple is obviously eating dinner together, but they're not together. They're each looking at their phones. This is not good. This is what I called fombies. Phone zombies. Fombies. Get it? Yeah, I actually got that one into the Urban Dictionary. That was me. If a guy is focused on the phone, he isn't, he isn't all that into this relationship in the first place, okay? You must be really losing his interest for him to be going to his phone. I hate to tell you that, but it's true. If he's giving you his eyes and his attention, he's there. He's present. By the way, a warning sign. Any man who's really into his phone yeah, that's the warning sign. If you are with a guy who's really into using his phone, that's not quite right. Like how a woman might be really into her phone, you don't want that. That guy is a red flag. Next sign is he remembers, you know, like obscure stuff, details about your history, things you said, things that happened between you and him. We show interest by showing how much we think about a person, right? Well, if he's remembering these little details about you, like weird facts, where you went to school, your parents' names, all this just really small stuff, well, obviously he's letting you play in the theater of his mind. He's going over this information. He's keeping it. He's remembering it. Sign number seven, he asks you for advice. Now ask yourself, why would he be asking you for advice instead of all his friends? Hmm, yeah, it creates a way to talk to you and to demonstrate how much he values your thoughts. He wants to give you importance in his life. Even better is if he offers to help you with something that you need help with in your life. Guys show interest in other women by sharing his time, right? So if he's sharing his time with you, it's precious. He really does feel his time is precious and he won't give it away to just any woman. So. If he's doing that for you, there you go. Yeah, if he's offering to help you out, he's trying to make an investment in you. The next sign is he mentions reminders. These are things that reminded him of you. Like, I don't know, maybe you guys have an in-joke or he saw something like uh, a meme that reminded him of you or a television show or a movie or maybe music that you both like. Whatever it is that you hold in common or even if it isn't in common and he just says that he saw something that reminded him of you, Big hint here, if he's talking about things that reminded him of you, that's a pretty obvious sign that he's thinking about you. Especially if he works and forces these things into the conversation along the way, he's trying to show it. Sign number nine is that he tells you, whoa, that's a little obvious, isn't it? I, this isn't exactly what you think. You see, most guys show you pretty clearly the opposite, right? When he's not thinking about you. And you might be tempted to see hope in it some way. What I'm saying here is that you want him to be, show you in some way that there's a sign that he's into you. But there's a good chance if you're looking for a sign, he's showing you signs that he isn't interested in you and you're trying to not see them. If a guy isn't showing you that he's there and interested, he isn't. If he disappears for a week, if he doesn't return your texts for days at a time, if he doesn't return your phone calls, and so on and so forth, guess what? That's a pretty bad sign right there, and it's one you need to look at. I don't want to make that negative, but that's the truth. So again, if he's showing you signs or if he just says, hey, I was thinking about you other, the other day, that's really a big sign and you can just take it and run with that one. Sign number 10 is he's trying to make you happy. This one is a sign that most women, frankly, they miss because they don't understand what it means. 
I talk about this in a lot of my videos that men are more interested in making you happy than almost anything else. That's what a guy does. That's how we, um, that's how we show our interest. No, he might not talk about it. In fact, it's unlikely that he will ever tell you directly that he's thinking about you or he desires you. Just because you handle your feelings a certain way doesn't mean he's going to handle them the same way. Be careful of that mistake. This is one of the biggest mistakes that women make and they often lose or they scare off a guy because she thinks she isn't seeing his feelings. What she's really doing is looking for them in the same way that she would show them. What he's doing is he's showing his interest differently. That's it. There are probably a lot of signs you're missing, by the way. In general, you can usually trust your gut when it comes to signs that he's been thinking about you, but you might not be able to trust your gut all the time, right? Just make sure there, your insecurity isn't the thing that's sending you these messages. Make sure that you're looking at what's really happening between you and him. The fact is that if you get signs that he's thinking about you a lot, maybe some of the ones I've talked about here, maybe you see some of those signs, but so what? Who cares if you don't do something about the signs you see? That's the real thing you need to be thinking about. So you gotta keep watching my videos. Keep watching what I have to teach you. I will show you. I'll show you how to understand what it is he wants, what it is he's thinking, and why he does what he does. Right now, you might be wondering, does he love me? Does, is he actually into me or interested in me? Does he really feel the way you think he does? I'll admit that guys don't always make it clear. So why not go find out? Go to this link you see below me here. Datingfire.com forward slash does he love me? That's datingfire.com forward slash does he love me? Take my quiz. It's fun. It's easy. It's fast. It's only like 10 questions if that. Take it and I will send you a copy of my free ebook. I'll send you your results and you can start to put some of this stuff that I'm teaching you to work right away to win them over. That's what you want, isn't it? And by the way, don't forget, share the channel. Share what I'm doing here because it's harder than ever for people to find the really good information that's out there. Yeah, we see what's happening on the internet and sometimes the good information, the stuff that's true, isn't getting put out, it isn't getting spread, and unfortunately it makes it harder for women to find this stuff. So share if you care, and I know you care, right? Again, go on over to datingfire.com forward slash what? Does he love me? Does he love me? Go on over and take the quiz. It's great stuff. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. And before you run away, make sure you do the big three. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you like this stuff, why wouldn't you? Turn on notifications, that little bell indicator next to the subscribe button. And if you disagree with me or you want to make a comment, I do check them. You can always suggest a video or whatever down in the comment section below. Hey, it's been great talking to you. I'll be back again next week. And as always, live and love with passion.